हेलो गाइस दिस इज अदिल वेलकम टू माय चैनल मूवमेंट साइंस वेयर आई सिंपलीफाई बायोमैकेनिक्स विद जो इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग बिकॉज आई सिंपलीफाई बायोमैकेनिक्स ओवर हियर एंड आल्सो टॉक अबाउट ऑर्थो टॉपिक्स एंड लॉट ऑफ क्लिनिकल एप्लीकेशंस व्हिच यू कैन यूज इन योर डेली प्रैक्टिस आल्सो चेक मी आउट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम वेयर आई पोस्ट डेली एमसीक्यूज एंड आल्सो पिक्चर ऑफ माय नोट्स the reference time for all the topics that i'm going to cover will be mentioned down in the description so check that out and let's get started in this video we are going to talk about the capsule and the ligament of the ankle joint and then we will move on to the other lateral structures which provide stability to the ankle joint so to begin with stability is mostly provided by the ligament to the ankle joint the capsule is not that efficient in providing stability because it's very thin and weak the ligament on the other side is divided into three parts we can keep this very simple there is the mcl ligament there is the lcl ligament and then there is the tibiofibular ligament the tibiofibular ligament connects the tibia to the fibula and it has two parts that is the anterior and posterior if this is your tibia and this is your fibula the anterior talofibular ligament will cover from the front on the anterior side like this and from the back like this so which will provide the stability to this joint apart from the tibiofibular ligament there is also the tibiofibular membrane which provide the stability to this joint next is the mcl ligament also known as the deltoid ligament because of its fan shaped structure the mcl ligament connects the tibia to talus calcaneum and navicule over here that is talus navicule and calcaneum this ligament provides resistance against valgus forces in the ankle joint if there is a force that comes on the ankle joint from the lateral side or if there is eversion of your leg this will be stabilized by the mcl or medial collateral ligament also known as the deltoid ligament then the next is the lcl ligament or lateral collateral ligament this is divided into three parts again there is the anterior talofibular ligament posterior talofibular ligament and the calcaneofibular ligament if you see over here the ligaments were connecting the tibia to the other bones whereas in lateral collateral ligament the ligaments are connecting the fibula to the other bones so there is the anterior talofibula so on the anterior side the fibula is getting connected to the talus that is the anterior talofibular ligament and on the posterior side again fibula getting connected to the talus is the posterior talofibular ligament both these ligaments are more horizontally placed and the one which is placed vertically is the calcaneofibular ligament the lcl ligament provides resistance against adduction inversion and plantar flexion this type of injury is very commonly seen in sports like football basketball where there is lot of landing on the foot the most commonly injured lcl ligament is the anterior talofibular ligament and very commonly known as the ankle sprain and the treatment for this varies from each degree of sprain the most commonly injured ligament is the anterior talofibular ligament whereas the least injured ligament is the posterior talofibular ligament which is the strongest ligament among these three apart from these there are also some lateral structures which provide stability to the ankle joint like bifurcate ligament over here then there is the short and the long plantar ligament On the anterior aspect of the ankle joint there are the extensor tendons which run which extend your toe and the other fingers these are held in place by the superior extensor retinaculum over here and the inferior extensor retinaculum just like we have flexor retinaculum in our arm to keep all the flexors in place same way to keep the all the extensors in place there is the superior and the inferior extensor retinaculum Apart from this there is also the superior and inferior peroneal retinaculum which keeps the peroneal tendon in place all these structures on the lateral side of the foot provide stability to the ankle joint especially the inferior and the superior peroneal retinaculum along with the other collateral ligament provide stability to the subtalar joints 
during the movements like plantar flexion dorsiflexion and talar inversion and rotation now let's summarize this topic we talked about the capsule and the ligament the capsule covers the whole ankle joint on the lateral and the medial aspect then the ligament is divided into mcl and lcl and the tibiofibular ligament mcl provides resistance against valgus forces whereas lcl provides resistance against adduction inversion and plantar flexion the most commonly injured ligament is the anterior talofibular ligament and then we finally talked about the superior and inferior peroneal retinaculum and also superior and inferior extensor retinaculum which along with the collateral ligaments provide stability to the subtalar joints if you like my content please share it with your friends don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notified every time i post a new video also let me know in the comment section what other videos you would like me to cover thank you for watching